just need that one. baking the new craze it's all about pancakes and it's all about cereals so pancakes cereals we're going to combine the two and make pancake cereal so we're just going to do a basic pancake mix which is you'll need milk plain flour baking soda and also a little bit of sugar get it in if you don't want to use a fork Get the bad boy out. Yeah, yeah, baby. I have actually forgotten the eggs. <laughs> Wait there. And you need two eggs. Bang those in as well. One, two. Lovely. Mixer. When you finish that, what you want to do is you want to put that into a squeezy bottle if you've got one. Um, like so. If you haven't got a squeezy bottle, got a little tip for you. When you've finished your bottle of water, all you need to do is put a hole in the lid, put the lid on, put your pan oh, first of all, put your pancake mix into the, the bottle when it's empty, put a hole in the lid, and then you can squirt your mini pancakes into the pan. How amazing is that? That's just a little tip for you. Put water. Just love it, don't you? Let's start squirting in our pancake mix. Just give it a quick shake. A little shake, a little shake, a little shake, shake, shake. Here we go. So it's quite fiddly. So it's tiny little pancakes. Because remember, it's cereal. How mad is this? And don't obviously get them to touch each other because you want these pancakes to be individual. But this isn't the sort of big pancake where you can just toss it because it's just too many. I suppose you could do that. Should we try? <laughs> we could try. And we need just a little tiny spatula, like so. One of them. Because you're going to flip them over when they're nicely cooked. So now you can just chill. Just talk amongst yourselves. Best chef in the world. Oh, sugar. What is that? Oh, I forgot to put the lid on. These ones are definitely cooked. Let's get them out of the pan. There we go. Just flick them, flick them in. Okay, let's just leave that one. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Just dropped everywhere. Just dropped pancakes literally everywhere. I'll clean that later. Oh my god. Right. Anyway, you get the gist, right? Let's put some more. So as you can see, this is a really figgly thing to do. So if you've got time on your hands, you're gonna love it. When you've cooked them, they should look a little bit like this. As you can see, they're cereal. And you literally just pour your cereal milk on top of them, like so. And then, there you have it. That's your pancake cereal. <laughs> if you don't want to do it as a cereal, you could just put, maybe put a little bit of maple syrup on. Because that is quite nice. Have a look at that. A little bit of maple syrup. Boom. If you fancy a little bit of peanut butter, get that knife on the peanut butter. And you can individually literally put a little bit of peanut butter on each one and eat it like that it's entirely up to you this is literally taking instagram over by storm loads of people posting different ideas on how to make pancake cereal i think it's absolutely bonkers if you do want cereal and pancakes i tell you what why don't you just make a big pancake and pour yourself a glass of milk results the same thing Oh no, they're not burning, are they? Oh gosh. Are they burning? No, they're perfect. What if you could just toss them? No. No, you've literally got to, you've got to do it individually. Literally never made this before and probably will never make it again. But you know what? 
I'm all for trying out new things. This is great. Let's see if I actually like it. Which one do I fancy? Do you know what? I'm going to try the one with milk. Let's have a look. Until next.